Good afternoon, everyone. We have our quorum established. Um, this is nice to see you two times during the course of a day. Um, and again, uh, uh, as a good practice, we're reiterating that given the unprecedented circumstances resulting from the global coronavirus pandemic, um, Governor Charlie Baker has issued an order to provide limited relief from certain provisions of the open meeting law to protect the health and safety of individuals interested in attending our public meetings. In keeping with the guidance provided, this meeting will be conducted utilizing remote collaboration technology. If there's any problem um, with this uh, technology, we will offer uh, guidance on our website at massgaming.com. We'll call to order this meeting, um, Thursday, April 29th, 1 p.m. Um, is first and only item on today's agenda is a commissioner's update I'll share with Commissioner O'Brien. We have, um, we, we received on Friday a request through, uh, that first was directed at the independent monitor and then um, by Wynn, and then Wynn did get in touch with uh, me and, and Commissioner O'Brien requesting that they uh, get a very limited relief uh, from the deadline that they had with the independent monitor to, to comment on the independent monitor's report. The independent monitor thought it was very reasonable, but in turn, it meant that the independent monitor needed some relief from the April 30th deadline to submit the report. So that date um, of that um, report, it would, would have been submitted tomorrow, and uh, they have asked for some relief. Commissioner O'Brien, do you want to chime in now? Um, yeah, it was. It was a very quick call. It was a reasonable request for a few days extension in terms of um, purely fact checking um, and getting back. Um, without moving the deadline, really, we're the ones that lose time to be able to read because to stay on the deadline and accommodate that reasonable request, it means we have less lead time to get it potentially and then have it publicly presented. So um, what seemed like a reasonable solution was to continue the deadline from April 30th to May 8th in terms of the deadline for the independent monitor to submit the report to us. And then we would hold a public hearing and presentation no later than May 21st. Um, so it's a, a couple of weeks moving out with um, really eight days from April 30th to May 8th is really the deadline that we're voting on today. Um, it keeps in mind what everyone has been going through with the pandemic, but still moves the ball on this, which um, I think is very important to keep doing in spite of everything else that's going on. Yes, as a reminder, um, last week was a particularly busy week on uh, reopening issues in Nevada. And so when really just got a little derailed on their work and did ask very appropriately for additional time. And uh, the time frame that Commissioner um, O'Brien just outlined, that works for the you know, independent monitor. And um, you know, we have been very careful to make sure that we don't interfere in any way with the process that they have. And they're very comfortable with this. Do we have questions? Um, mm -hmm. I think, um, Madam Chair, you just answered my question, which was the eight days is the appropriate time for everyone, it sounds like. It sounds like that's acceptable to all parties involved. And, and it can be heard that um, it allows us to keep this moving as well. So. I think you answered that question, um, that everybody is in agreement that this is the proper time frame, um, so that this request seems reasonable to me as well. I should add that we are working um, on a plan with, you know, through Karen on, on how uh, there will be a proper briefing. And those details will come through Karen. Is that fair, Eileen? Is there anything else we need to add at this point? No, I don't think so. Any further questions, uh, Commissioner Zuniga? Yeah, I, uh, I'm just curious as to the next phase. I understand this is a baseline report, and in the short term, we can, you know, we can get it done. It seems uh, very reasonable to to allow for these few days to get it 
you know, to the appropriate level for review, etc. But I'm curious as to what, has there any thought given to what this whole engagement means during a period in which uh, the casino is closed? Well, I think that um, the, the short answer is to stay tuned because we have to see the report. And uh, of course the work um, has was conducted during the operations. And I think, uh, you know, given what we understood the monitor was doing and their um, obligations under their um, assignment, it will be on operational procedures and policies that will be applicable once the, uh, um, uh, the casino re-engages. So I think in terms of their findings, we had asked for a six, a six month baseline report. And I think that that report is, will reflect this six months, I think our initial, correct me if I'm wrong, anyone, uh, Commissioner O'Brien, probably your memory is the best. Our initial date for submission was the end of February. And then there was a slight request for an uh, additional deadline uh, being pushed out and then, uh, then the operations were suspended. So it's really quite timely, uh, Commissioner Zuniga. It will have reflected on operations and you know, our goal has always been that it will be, um, it, it will address our concerns at the time of our, dis our decision, um, why we impose that uh, condition, and that will be also a tool for the licensee. It was always meant to be helpful as well. Without a doubt, I'm just curious as to whether they'll continue monitoring during a period of closure. They are right now they have um I think it would be fair to say they have suspended their work. I think I, I'm sorry if, if that wasn't clear. Um I thought we had reported on that before. They had uh, suspended their work um so that they're not incurring additional charges right now. Um in terms of going forward after the report, we haven't talked about that yet. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's, that's all very clear. Uh thank you. Commissioner O'Brien, is that accurate? Yeah, that's accurate. Any other questions? All right. Um, do we have a motion because we do need to address the, the uh, past deadline? Madam Chair, I move that the deadline for submission by the independent monitor of the six month baseline report to the commission be extended from the current date of April 30th to no later than May 8th, 2020. Um, and that the public presentation or hearing on the six-month baseline report will be scheduled no later than May 21st, 2020. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we'll do a roll call vote. Uh, Commissioner Cameron? Aye. Commissioner O'Brien? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. Commissioner Stebbins? Aye. I vote yes, so that's five zero for that uh, that deadline to be extended. Appreciate it very much. Do we have any other questions, comments going forward? I know we're reconvening on Friday on a different topic. Okay, hearing none. Do we have another motion? Move to adjourn. Second. Okay. Any questions or comments? Okay. Good. Um, we'll call vote, Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. Commissioner Stebbins. Aye. Chair votes yes, five zero. Thanks and thanks everyone for the efficiency today. We appreciate it and for particularly for Marianne and Jamie to being so uh, uh, nimble to be able to put these meetings really in motion. So thank you. Thanks thank you. everybody. Thank you.